the death penalty is currently authorized by 27 states, the federal government, and the U.S. military. The death penalty is still legal in California, Oregon, and Pennsylvania, but there are gubernatorial moratoriums on executions in these three states. In recent years, New Mexico 2009, Illinois 2011, Connecticut 2012, Maryland 2013, New Hampshire 2019, Colorado, 2020 and Virginia 2021 have legislatively abolished the death penalty, replacing it with a sentence of life imprisonment with no possibility for parole. The Nebraska legislature also abolished capital punishment in 2015, but it was reinstated by a statewide vote in 2016. Additionally, Courts in Washington and Delaware recently ruled that the state's capital punishment laws are unconstitutional. States across the country will continue to debate its fairness, reliability and cost of implementation. Texas leads the nation in the number of executions since the death penalty was reinstated in 1976. California, Florida, Texas and Alabama have the largest death row populations. Jurisdictions without death penalty statutes. Alaska, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, District of Columbia, Hawaii, Illinois, Iowa, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Dakota, Rhode Island, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. When capital punishment was declared cruel and unusual punishment by the U.S. Supreme Court on June 29, 1972, there were 45 men on death row in Texas and seven in county jails with a death sentence. All these sentences were commuted to life sentences by the governor of Texas, and death row was clear by March 1973. In 1973, revision to the Texas Penal Code once again allowed assessment of the death penalty and allowed for executions to resume effective January 1, 1974. Under the new statute, the first man of Reese, was placed on death row on February 15, 1974. Div Reese committed suicide July 1, 1974, by hanging himself with bedsheets. The state of Texas adopted lethal injection as means of execution in 1977 and executed the first inmate by lethal injection on December 7, 1982. Charlie Brooks was executed for the kidnap, murder of a Fort Worth auto mechanic. Effective January 12, 1996, close relatives and friends of the deceased victim were allowed to witness executions. Since 2015, 25 states enacted 66 new laws addressing state systems of capital punishment. Trends include expanding or limiting aggravating factors, modifying execution methods and procedures, changing trial and appellate procedures, modifying laws to comply with litigation outcomes and repealing the practice altogether. Lethal injection is currently the primary method of execution in 28 of the 29 states that authorize executions. Texas was the first state to use the method, in 1982. In 2021, South Carolina became the first state to depart from using lethal injection as a primary execution method. It is the only state in which electrocution is primary, with firing squad and lethal injection, authorized by statute as secondary methods of execution. In addition to South Carolina, 
15 other states have a secondary method of execution authorized by statute. Laws in Alabama, Arkansas, Mississippi, New Hampshire, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Utah and Wyoming provide a secondary option if lethal injection is found to be unconstitutional and or unavailable. Arizona, Kentucky, Tennessee and Utah all have a choice of secondary methods for offenders who were sentenced before the introduction of lethal injection. And Alabama, California, Florida, Missouri, Virginia and Washington have other methods that are available if the offender requests an alternative. Secondary methods of execution include electrocution, lethal gas, hanging, nitrogen hypoxia, and firing squad. Death row inmates typically spend more than two decades locked up before execution. In 2019, the average time spent on death row between sentencing and execution was 264 months, which is 22 years. That was a jump from the average in 1990, which was 95 months, almost 8 years. Prisoners often have to wait many years before being executed due to complex and time-consuming appeal procedures mandated in the jurisdiction. Almost a quarter of inmates on death row die of natural causes while waiting to be executed. Joe Fidel Fido Gonzalez. Joe Gonzalez, spent just 252 days on death row. He was the inmate with the record of spending the shortest time on death row, in Texas. By waiving all rights to appeal, Gonzalez spent less time on death row than any previously executed Texas inmate. Gonzalez was convicted for shooting William Vedder in Amarillo, Texas, 1992. Vedder died from a single gunshot wound to the head, which at first appeared self-inflicted. But an investigation revealed Gonzalez was behind the gun and manipulated the crime scene to make it look like suicide. Gonzalez was a roofer, and William Vedder was his boss, Gonzalez was convicted in November 1992. Gonzalez, claiming Vetter owed him $200, shot him in the head and robbed him. During his trial, Gonzalez said, I am a man who has no regard for the law. I am a man who has no regard for humanity, Gonzalez, who acted as his own lawyer, told the jury. I ask for no sympathy, no empathy, but I do ask for you to follow the law. The jury took just 12 minutes to recommend the death penalty. He spent just 8 months on death row before being executed by a lethal injection on September 18, 1996. Joe Gonzalez was 36 years at the time of his execution waived all appeals, cutting short a process that in Texas averages about eight years. He died seven minutes after the drugs were administered. His last words were, There are people all over the world who face things worse than death on a daily basis, and in that sense I consider myself lucky. I cannot find the words to express the sadness I feel for bringing this hurt and pain on my loved ones. I will not ask forgiveness for the decisions I have made in this judicial process, only acceptance. God bless you all. Gonzalez was the 107th person to be executed in Texas since the death penalty was reinstated in 1982. Although the legislature enacted a law to speed up the appeals process in death penalty cases, the process has been delayed by lack of money to pay lawyers appointed to represent death penalty inmates. Thank you for watching Death Row.